Hey guys, Jared Beckwith here. I'm a registered EEG technologist, and in today's video, I'm happy to announce I am releasing my EEG software named Ion, and how much am I selling it for? I'm giving it away for free, just for testing purposes. If you wanna learn how to read an EEG, I'm gonna give you 15 examples for free and my software to go with it. So without further ado, let's get into how can you get the software for free right now. Head on over to our website, ioneeg.com and submit your information. If you're an EEG tech, a student or a neurologist, we will send you the software within the next week. We have to do everyone one by one, so it might take a while. Be patient, please but we'll get to you. We're giving you a ton of stuff for free. We're giving you the EEG viewer to look through all the EEG's trends to detect seizures and long-term recordings, and also artifact reduction to get rid of noise on the record. Now, why is it free? There's gotta be a catch, right? Am I gonna, are you gonna get locked out after seven days or something? Well, we were gonna sell for $10,000 a year, but we've gotta wait on the FDA clearance, and this is your one chance to get it for free, guys. Now, if you don't love it, we'll personally work with you, myself. Just email me, jared at ioneeg.com, and I'll make the changes. Now, this isn't for patient use. This is only for testing purposes only. All I ask is that if you like it, tell a friend, share it, and if you don't like it, tell me why so I can fix it. I really appreciate that, guys. So once I send you this file, the Ion installer, it's pretty simple. You just double click it and then end up pressing install. And once you have it installed, you check on your computer, you'll have the Ion program and also the data should pop up as well. Now to get it started, you double click on the shortcut on the desktop that appears. Now it takes a while to load. There's gonna be a little black screen and let me go through a bunch of different examples. So first we have one hertz occipital periodic discharges, an ICU patient, one per second. As you can see, they're looking beautiful, guys. This is an interesting example. Now we go to the next one. We've got two psychogenic non-epileptic seizures. Now these are seizures with no epileptic activity. It's just gonna show artifact from the person moving around and there's gonna be no post-ictal slowing. Now, next one, three electrographic seizures. This one's an ICU patient, pretty suppressed background. Uh, we can load the trends on this one. It's gonna take a while to load, so be patient, but it'll say working. Now, as they pop up, you can see each one of the seizures in the trends, and you can investigate further on the raw EEG by clicking on those specific areas where the seizure started. Now, there's also a little bit of muscle artifact intermixed with those seizures, so definitely inspect the raw EEG. Always double checking the regular raw EEG is something I like to stress when using the trends, just so you don't get in trouble and falsely detect something as a seizure if you see a flame on the trends. Now next, we have a brain death recording. This one is simple enough. It's essentially what you'd expect, just a flat line. And if we go on to the next one, we have someone who's almost dead. This is a burst suppression pattern. This one, it's kind of like almost flat line and there's gonna be little bursts in between. It's kind of like their brain just fizzing out. It's just not a good pattern to see in absence of sedation. Now next we have generalized slowing. This is just from an encephalopathic patient, just generally slow. Uh, we also have this example shows sharp waves at F8 and T2. Now let me scroll through and try to find a good little example, best example right about here. If you look in the F8, T2 area, that's a pretty good example of some focal sharp waves. They're not happening on the left side. They're only happening on the right side in that F8, T2 area. So I think that was a pretty cool example to include. And also we have a FERTA example. FERTA stands for Frontal Intermittent Rhythmic Delta Activity. So this intermittent rhythmic delta activity that's happening in the front, that my friends is a good example of FERTA. Now with FERTA, it's always important to make sure the frontal activity isn't coming from eye movement. So that's something you always wanna double check with FERTA. 
So you want to see it happening a couple times and make sure it's not the patient just doing weird stuff with their eyes. Now, this patient's seizure shows rhythmic delta activity in the frontal electrodes, also sometimes some intermix sharp waves, which end up going away with the treatment of Ativan. So this can give you a good idea of when you're in the ICU and you see a patient having a seizure, you tell the doctor about it, and then they have the nurse administer some drugs like this, Ativan, and you can see the change over time with the trends. So in the beginning, you had a broadband pattern and that kind of went away and turned into more of a narrowband pattern. Now, if you want more information, I'm gonna have a guide on how to read the trends included as well, so don't worry about it. Now in this one, we got a gunshot victim showing a breach rhythm at around F3, FP1-ish area, and that is from a opening in the skull or when someone has surgery, you're gonna see a little bit higher amplitude waves and that's called a breach rhythm. So if we open up the next record, we're gonna see what is called interictal discharges that happen in between seizures and also it ends with a generalized tonic-clonic seizure. So scrolling through, let's try and find some of these interictal discharges. Oh, go back, there's some right there and pretty cool. These happen in between seizures in patients with epilepsy so that's not a full-blown seizure, but if they go on for big long runs and trains, you're going to want to take note of it, like right here. Here's the beginning of the generalized tonic-clonic seizure, where the patient is seizing out and eventually goes into a bunch of muscle artifact, and then all the wires fall off the patient's head, because that's one of the most intense seizures someone can have, a GTC. Now on this one, you're going to see a left temporal seizure up here at the top, if you see the left temporal area, all that sharp activity, that, my friends, is the seizure in the left temporal area. Now, if we want to open up the trends, give it a little while to load and process, it's doing a lot of advanced calculations, guys, so we can cut them some slack, let it load a little bit. Now, here we go. In this left temporal seizure, you can see the flame in the left temporal tab burns the brightest, so that's where you're going to want to look. And also, the amplitude on the left side of the brain is higher than on the right side of the brain during this specific seizure on the left temporal area. Now, we've been looking at a lot of abnormal EEG records. Let's switch things up and see what a normal EEG looks like. So, scrolling through this one, you're going to see a nice between 9 and 10 waves per second in the back of the head. Now, if we calculate the trends, I'll let it process in the background while we scroll so it'll be quicker. We can see beautiful posterior dominant rhythm. This patient is more or less pretty normal. It's what you'd see it a lot of the time in a routine EEG. Now, when the trends calculate, we can see there is a nice stripe at that 10 hertz mark, 10 waves per second, and it shows up in all the panels. So you have a nice, continuous, symmetric, posterior dominant rhythm between 9 and 10 waves per second. Now we can look through this one, where it's also a normal patient, but we were able to capture some sleep in this record. The patient is getting drowsy, start to see some vertex waves at CZ, and as we keep going, we're eventually going to see the patient fall into a little bit deeper of a sleep once we start to see sleep spindles. That's when you know they've hit stage 2 sleep right there. There's our sleep spindles. Stage 2 sleep in a normal EEG. That's another great example to show you guys. Last but not least, we have a very cool example, a right temporal seizure that is covered up by this chewing artifact. And we're able to see it after the patient stops chewing. We can see it clearly right there. But just to test out our artifact reduction technology to get rid of that muscle artifact, you can have it process it. The artifact reduction will take a while to process, so please be patient. I'm going to fast forward a couple minutes just so we can see the results. One, two, three, boom. Artifact is reduced. Now, it doesn't reduce the whole artifact, and it may filter out some of the brain signal, 
but it does a really good job, way better than the high frequency filter. This is the future of EEG technology, guys, and we're bringing it to you. Our company, ION, we did this without any institutional investors. I'd really appreciate it if you downloaded our software and told a friend. Love you guys. See you on the next video.